Hey guys and girls, Synergy here, and we're bringing you a brand new video. This one's going to be this weekly nightfall, and as you can see, the perks currently on the screen at the moment. So we're just going to load into this, and then we're going to talk you through it as we go through it. The class that I'm actually going to be using is going to be the Warlock today. Now, the weapons that I'm actually using is the Doom of Chelsis, a thousand yard stir on Voidburn and also the Truth Rocket Launcher. Um, there are several weapons that I could have actually played around with here, for example shotguns, fusion rifles, telestos, etc. But I decided to keep it a bit old school and we're basically going into the Void class and we're going to have max intellect as much as possible so we're just going to switch that up here. And also we're going to have armor on that gives us more sniping ammo so we can actually hold more in the chamber as well. So first of all, as we land in right here, what we want to do is we want to make our way to the first room. Unfortunately this part might be a little bit boring for you to watch. Right, so we're moving into the first room, you can see there's a guy that actually died in this room and he seems to be doing exactly the same. It's, uh, obviously I'm doing a solo tutorial for you guys so if you do like it, like, comment, subscribe. And also I will be Twitch streaming very shortly on twitch.tv forward slash L-A-H-I-L-T-O-N. 1987. So if you are on Twitch, feel free to give me a follow. It's free to follow, obviously. <laughs> I don't uh, charge at anything like a lot of streamers might do. And obviously, I'll be able to take you through things like raids, King's Fall hard raids. I'll also be able to take you through things like your nightfalls and possibly quests that you're struggling with. I'll end up doing quite a few requests as well. Um, one of the things that I will say is trials will come in time, but at the moment I am not up to that level to be able to carry people through that. As soon as I am, I'll be doing that free of charge completely. Obviously I don't ask for anything like donations like most streamers will do. If somebody actually chooses to donate, that's completely their choice. Okay, so while we're in this first room, we're just going to take out the Minotaurs first with the Sniper and then we're actually not going to waste our sniping ammo and we're just going to take out the Z-Lots one by one with the Doom of Chelsea, as you can see, it actually does sort of like a bit of an AoE damage effect. So we're going to jump up here, fire one rocket down and take down the actual Axis Harpy, which is a proper one. <laughs> Best way of explaining it. Okay, so the good thing is we got a bit of ammo that's landing around at the moment. We're just going to check this door and obviously to a spawn the shield's in the way a little bit so we're just going to edge ourselves out. We're not going to go close to them because they can do a lot of DPS to us at the same time. Just going to finish that one off with the rocket. The reason being is that we know there is heavy ammo around. And rather than take that heavy ammo we're just going to save it. Fire one rocket straight down here go and pick up the heavy ammo that we just seen on the floor okay so this part it's going to be all due to the sort of ammo that you're using when you take out the zealots or not the zealots the bloody devoured goblins and um, what you need to do is you need to duck and cover every kill that you get the reason being is that will do a high amount of damage if those bolt casters do actually hit you you're going to see that a little bit later on because I come up with a very, very close call. Okay, so we're just looking around because <laughs> this is the first time I've actually done this um, uh, this week. So I'm actually not sure what to expect, where they're going to be spawning from, whether they change the spawns up or anything like that. So the next one is we need to take out the devoured help goblins on the left hand side. But you can see just one bolt cast takes off a third of my life. So I'm going to play this bit by bit and we're just going to use all the cover to our advantage. And then we're going to use our Axion which will just take out the last one there and the DPS will not be on us. This part we're going to use our super and we're going to take as many of them out as possible. You can see there's an orb coming towards me. Don't let that orb hit you whatever you do. We're 
just take that orb out normally and we're going to edge ourselves up to this hand side oh, we just saw a hobgoblin okay so the centurions down which means there will be no more orbs that come towards us now this part we want to pick up all the sniping ammo that we have on the floor we want to pick up any ammo that's going to be useful for us place your ghost in here and then you get basically going to hightail it out of the back to your original starting point and you're going to see exactly why we do this as well now it does depend on the set of ads that you get whether it be centurions or goblins taken etc I'm just going to take these out with the scout rifle one by one nice and easy it's fairly simple to do obviously they do have a perk where they can actually shield you want to take this guy out that's on the floor because you don't want to accidentally come around the corner and then him shield you to death now you can see I've got a good spread of ammo that's on the floor over there as well so we're just going to have a little dance there, have a little bit of a play around now we're just checking around our surroundings so we're just checking to see exactly where the ads are spawning now it appears that they are spawning up the top now you can see I'm currently shadow touched at the minute so what we need to get rid of is we need to get rid of the black ball that is up here the only issue with that is you've got to be careful the reason being is these ads will actually jump down to your left hand side we actually whiff that rocket right there but we throw another one in and get some AOE damage and then we'll take off the ones that keep jumping down before we even touch the actual orb because you can see they come down one by one and they come down at random intervals when we get a chance we'll take out the orb like so and then we'll just continue to DPS anything that does jump down and obviously when we've got our grenade we're just going to use it and just throw it up there because it will take a few out, won't take them all out but a few is better than nothing if that makes sense try that snipe there, I actually thought I hit that one <clears throat> ok one more rocket and you can see the amount of spread damage that those projectiles are currently doing I'm going to take out that one there now you do need to be a little bit careful on this, obviously we're going to pick up this heavy ammo We're coming over to this left hand side because I wasn't sure what was left Unfortunately he shields there And this kind of screws me a little bit, this is where my close call comes into play So don't do what I did, just take your time with it And obviously I'm going to hightail it straight out of there Because I know that I'm actually in a no win situation if that makes sense so we got three ads and they're all flanking me, kind of like you'd be playing Trials of Osiris and they're all just literally flanking you from different areas therefore you're going to take damage from one, you might take one out but the overall damage is actually going to hit you quite a bit here we go <clears throat> so now that that centurion's down what we need to work on is the devoured hobgoblins again these things hit like an absolute truck if they do hit you, as you can see right there. <coughs> Just going to take them out one by one, duck into cover, always avoiding the bolt casters that they actually throw. Alright, so now we're just looking around, seeing what adds are left. We need to take out that hobgoblin there and we need to take out the vandals as well as this phalanx so first of all we're just going to snipe as many of these vandals as we can yep. with me shot I'll gobble into my right hand side, I'm going to duck into cover right now I'm going to take out the vandal to my left look to my right, whoop, I lost my shot and I nearly got whipped Ah, shit, 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 shit yeah so don't do what I did because that was a real big risk but simply just take your time with it, take them out one by one and obviously make sure that they're not able to actually DPS you from two different angles very lucky to stay alive though but we managed to stay alive, that's what counts he's not going to turn around, now he is we're just waiting for him to get out of that shield 
Wait for it, and boom, there you go. So now that we know that there is one more left, we can just take him out. Come on, shield off bro. There we go, is it so hard to die? <laughs> Once we've done this, we will be moving on to the third room. Now the third room can be a combination of different ads as well, so you just need to be careful about what set of ads you're getting. The ones that I get are things like the Vex Harpies, etc. So we're just coming round, expecting some ads to be there where they normally spawn. But they're not actually spawned there on this one. Now you can see the enemies are actually attacking each other. So you can actually let them DPS each other a little bit down. So they're actually going to be taking off a lot of damage on each other. Which will give you the easy kills just to pick them off when they're low health. Taking out the Harpy's Elots. And the Goblin's Elots. As we take out that goblin z lot, we notice that there's an actual mini boss Hydra z lot. Now the Hydra, you need to really focus on taking him out. The Elite Centurion, fairly easy to take him out. We'll just shoot him. Um, with a bit of assistance from the other ads that are spawning round. Now you see these purple orbs, Vard damage is greatly increased on this and obviously trickle is a factor in it so you want to use those supers wisely only when you need to use them. The main thing though is obviously taking out the Hydra Z lot. If you don't take that out that thing can literally two burst you very fast without you even knowing about it. The next one is these Goblin Zealots, now they have a Void Cannon on them. The Void Cannon will be quite fast firing if that makes sense. Right, so we'll take out the Zealots as we come along. One, two, just shoot them directly in the eyeball, they'll go down fairly fast. This is what you've got to be careful of, make sure you just take them out normally and make sure you're in a bit of cover for when they're actually aiming those cannons towards you. Now you've got an opportunity to pick up whatever ammo you have on the ground, if you're lucky you might have a bit of heavy ammo at the same time. So we're going to place our ghost into here. Now there's one of two different things that can happen. The shutters can open and the ads will all spawn towards the top side. But if you come back to here just as a general safe rule, just in case the ads actually spawn towards this area where I'm actually stood right now, you can see all the ads that I have, they spawn into this room right here. <coughs> So it's just like normal, just work through them normally. What you're going to have towards the end of this is you're going to have like a little mini boss minotaur. Here we go, we're just peeking out, taking out the goblin zealot. And more ads are spawning. Okay, so we got hobgoblins. This, there's a good way of not wasting your ammo on this one, so don't bother using your sniping shots unless you've got plenty to go around. So first of all, you want to make them shield before they get a chance to throw that grenade towards you. Now you can see the Axis Minotaur, so we're actually going to double back on ourselves right now. We're going to bring out the truth, which is going to be very useful. We're going to make sure we get an angle, make sure you don't rock it yourself. There we go. Obviously jumping up I wouldn't advise it unless you're confident enough to do it like I just did. So two shots with the truth will take out that man at all. Ooh, excuse me. Next part, the doors will open to the final room. Now the final room's quite a tricky one because a lot of people will go a little bit rambo in this room and they'll basically, once they've got rid of all these ads, they'll go straight for every single scion and think they're an absolute god doing so. I'm going to show you the safe way of doing it, 
fast, effective, it might take a little bit longer, but at least you will survive. Especially if you're on a warlock. Now warlocks, I won't lie, they do make this part a little bit easier. Because what we're going to end up doing is we're going to actually switch into Sunsinger Self Revive, get our super back up, and that's when we're going to start damaging the actual Scion Flares. The little three mini bosses. Well, they are the main boss, like. Okay, <clears throat> now all the sniping ammo, you want to save that for any Centurion that has a fire shield. Obviously, you could switch to a fire sniper, but if you do so, what you're going to find is quite simple. You're going to lose a lot of your sniping ammo that you currently have. So we're just taking these out one by one. We got two rockets to waste, so rather than waste our time and special ammo on those, we're going to actually dump a rocket straight into them in a second. You can see that right now, and that will take them both out in one rocket. Now the other rocket, I do end up wasting this just for the fun of it. <laughs> we. Boom. <laughs> At this point what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the raise lighter. Now if you do have the raise lighter on void it is going to be a little bit better for you because you'll be able to take them down a lot faster. We're actually going to switch from void walker to sunsinger but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use that vortex and we're going to use the AOE DPS on the first little mini boss. Unfortunately, when I do this, he doesn't actually stand in it for quite long because it is an AOE damage effect type. So first of all, we're gonna come over to here. Now, you need to be careful about where you're jumping and stuff like that because grounded is also a factor in here as well as the trickle. So there we go, we'll take his shields off, unfortunately and knocked him all the way back here. So rather than risk that, I am actually moving straight back as fast as I can, straight through the doorway. And that's what you need to be careful of as well. So you can see I'm actually taking heavy fire from the ads that are spawning in. This is where I'm going to switch to the Sunsinger, not worry about anything else. We're going to put on the solar grenades. And we're obviously going to have the self res, but we want to keep our armor maxed as much as possible. But we are going to actually use the all grenades ignite enemies. The reason being is the solar grenade will come in useful, and you're going to see exactly why. So the next part is we're going to basically waste a lot of our special ammo just sniping these down, just because it will be quicker, a lot faster, and a bit more effective. As they come in the room they will drop random ammo for you, you may actually need to simp on it, but you don't want to simp because you do want as much heavy ammo as you possibly can have. Okay. So if they've got the shields on, you need to hit the arm first and then the head second. Yeah. This guy got my number. Uh, just gonna hip fire that one. Another shield guy, hit the arm, then the head, and he's down. Right, so any elites, <laughs> legionaries, we're just going to take them out one by one with the scout rifle. Because there's no need to actually waste any of our proper ammo. We could do, make it a little bit faster, but unfortunately we don't have the ammo capacity for the snipers. Well, we do have the capacitor, but we don't want to end up having to simp as well, so we're just relying on the drops that are actually happening through all of these. Now, if you see on the right-hand side of the wall there, could you see that little arc coming through? That's one of the Scion Flares, so if you stand near that wall, that can actually one-shot you quite literally. So just be careful about where you are stood. Oh, we whiffed our shot twice. So we're just going to switch to the scout instead. We've still got one in the mag for the sniper so we're going to use that on the elite centurion. You'll see in a moment. 
we just got our solar grenade up which is going to help us out quite a bit there so we can basically slide in get our ammo and we've got a few more sniping shots you can see I'm back up to 15 there okay reload our sniper this will be good if you do have the actual unflinching perk if you have that on that will be a lot easier to kill the centurions that are doing that as in using the cannons against you <laughs> he just stood up on the actual lampshade, he's like a little ninja. <laughs> Jackie Chan! Wah! Ha chi ha! Yeah, so we just hit fire our sniper here because we know they're going to push in towards us and that allows us to get the easy kill right there. We got eight shots left, we don't want to waste those shots on these types. Shields in the way a little bit, it's a little bit tight and a little bit compact at the minute. So we just need to take them by shooting the arm then shooting the head. Hopefully the other one doesn't get in the way. And then just rinse and repeat. Like so. And then we're actually going to move on, so at this point, once you know that near enough everything is clear, we can actually edge ourselves out. I'm going to take out some of these ads that are around here as well. Hit the arm, oh, a shield got in the way, son of a bitch. We're just seeing if the Void Sniper will actually do a decent amount of damage, but you're seeing it takes at least four shots just to take the shield almost down. So we're going to rush up to him. We're going to absolutely destroy him with the sword. Now the sword that I'm using is the solar one. If you've got the arc one, this one will go down a lot faster. Okay. If you've got a good spread of swords, then obviously you can actually switch your swords in between the flurs. Therefore you can take them out faster because the elemental damage type is actually matching to the shield type. Next part is, you're going to have a next set of ads. Now it's one of these, you could risk it for a chocolate biscuit, go all ham on the scion flares, but you're also going to have all of these ads to deal with, and you can see one's just taking me down to half health. So if you're outside in the middle of all them while you're attacking a scion flare, you're going to have not only the scion flares damage that's going to be hitting you, as well as the melee damage, but you're also going to ha be having multiple DPS coming from all of the ads. So what we choose to do is play it safe, play it cool, and just chill. Rather than goose it. Yes! Heavy ammo! Roar! That's exactly what you want to find at this specific point. So now we can just pick up that heavy ammo. Now we've got 58 in the chamber, that'll be enough to kill another Scion Flood. Oh. Bring out our sniper. Yes, heavy ammo again. Got a little bit lucky there, obviously we don't have to sim if that means. <coughs> Getting a wee bit of dry for all. It's like I said guys and girls, this is tutorial and obviously you'll be able to do this in under half an hour. Not very long considering you are actually soloing it. Now we know that Void Burn is a factor in this Nightfall, but it doesn't actually work as well as what you think towards this part in specific. Thought while I was low on the ammo I'd try and take him out with the sword but unfortunately the sword type isn't the best for taking him out like so. We've almost got our grenade up and we can see that we're just using that to our ability. We're going to throw it straight behind so it'll actually damage all of them at the same time. <coughs> so we got another centurion to deal with. 
unfortunately they're a little bit of a tricky bugger to hit. There we go, so we'll take him down. Obviously we're low on health but we do have the self res. We're wanting to save that self res so rather than actually using it on the ads and spam the grenades and stuff like that, we want to save that for the scion flares. One shot to take off the shield there. Just gonna edge ourselves around. We can see more heavy ammo actually on the floor right there. And some special ammo as well. So we actually want that special ammo. That's where your melee comes into play. You can see me melee just burn that centurion out because brawler is also a factor in this. So guardian melee damage is greatly increased. Or melee from any specific source. We're just going to slide into that ammo. We're pretty safe actually at the minute, so we've just got near enough refilled on all of our ammo. So we're just going to take out that centurion right there. Doesn't matter that we're actually getting hit by one of the scions. These scions, you do need to take them out because the waves can literally one shot you down. We're just going to move over to the left hand side now, we're checking out where the Scion Flares are actually placed. Usually it's one centre, one right, one left, but sometimes they'll actually mix up the positions as well. You can see that one just went to there. Now, a few ads actually spawned in at this point, and we just narrowly missed that, and that one as well. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. Okay, so we're just going to back up, we know there's a Scion Flare there. So we need to take that Scion Flare out, so we're going to use that AoE grenade just to take down his shields as you can see. What we're going to do is we're going to box him in right now, there we go, straight into the corner, box him in and just keep using that sword nice and fast. You can see the ship actually hit me quite a bit there. We do have the self res to rely on, but as long as your armour and agility is maxed that shouldn't really take you out. Okay, so Elite Centurion. Just got slapped. Now the next set of ads you need to be careful on. So first of all we're going to take out the scions. We know the flares right there but we're not actually going to attack him at the minute. Because there's different factors that are going to be spawning in. And we need to be careful of that. See that ship right there? Make sure it doesn't hit you for the love of god. Always avoid any of those shockwaves that are travelling across the ground. This is the part where you use the cover to your ability. Just try and get the headshots on him. Sometimes you will miss and stuff like that. This one, a little bit faster. And we're just hitting him down. Bit by bit. We've got plenty of ammo to waste anyway. Switch to the scout rifle and take him down. Now at this point what we can do is we can actually move to the final floor, but we're also going to be very careful while we're doing so. We can see where he is, unfortunately there is an app that's left. What we're actually going to do is we're going to leave whatever is left up in a second. So we just snipe that scion there, snipe that one as well, get rid of any scions that you see. Normal scions, they will mess this up for you, I can guarantee you that. Now we're just going to DPS as fast as possible on him, obviously we're going to end up using our self res. This guy with the shield gets in the way, I get knocked down there, but that was the plan. So now that we've got that, we can actually push him towards the spawn point, away from the ads, and just take him out. I actually run out of the sword ammo, so I'm just going to melee and throw any sort of grenade that I've got down. Now guys and girls, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, twitchtv.com, uh, sorry, <laughs> twitch.tv forward slash lahiltoon1987, we'll be streaming quite soon as well, so just be prepared for all that, and I'll be streaming things like this for example, your solo runs and stuff like that, and so I'll be doing it live for you so you can see everything as it happens, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into our reward screens. You can see we got the Treads Upon Stars, it's a very very common drop. 
we're going to check out the rule that we've got on it. And um, Nightfall Rewards for the week is, ooh, 20 Strange Coins. That's actually good. Peace.